Hey guys, this is Nick, and welcome back to Subnautica, where last time we visited this structure which turned that it was a very, very big gun, and it shot down the ship that came to rescue us. And now I'm almost out of water, and I should really start swimming back to my base, because yeah, there's... I left a beacon there, uh, I can always come back to there if I want to, and in the meantime, I really do need to get a move on and get back home. So we're gonna swim back to one of our bases, uh, we don't have any water at all on ourselves, so if we can find any bladder fishes, that would be very neat. And these guys, these guys are aliens, probably, because they don't look very friendly at all. And will they attack us? They won't, apparently. Oh, yes, yes, they, yeah, yes, they do, yes, they do, they're really mean. Okay, let's move the pack out. They don't want me to get close to them. Ow! What did it do? It's, it teleported right in near me. Okay, god damn it. I'm gonna go back to the surface and try to not get killed by this thing. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, you creature. Okay, I think they left me alone right now. Jesus, I didn't think they would attack me. God damn it. Okay, let's just check if I can see any more space uh, where there would be a wreck of the Aurora. Because, yes, I, I'm thinking to cover these distances... A huge vehicle, a sea vehicle, wouldn't be too bad. But I didn't find anything to construct a mobile vehicle bay yet. I don't have the blueprints. So I should probably try and look for them. So that next time we have to do something, I can basically just uh, go in and uh, use a vehicle to be a little bit more protected and have some air and keep exploring for longer. It would probably be a good idea, honestly. Enter the base. And there we go. Okay, I do not have any water in here. And I do have some in here. So I'm gonna switch these containers. I'm gonna consume some of that water. Food I'm alright for. Okay, we did it. We did it. We're back home and we didn't die from the monstrous thing. Now we have a radio message. Oh. Okay, so yes, we did receive an alien message, and what does it do? Alien data, I think I already, yeah, I already read, read yep, I already read all that thing. I have, okay, I have some alien facility locations that I could go and explore if I wanted to as well, but I don't think my map has added any other, no, okay. So they probably found some survivors from the other ship and are going to try and kill them, which... He's basically very mean, but I cannot fault them for that. I mean, this planet is supposed to be under quarantine, and uh, I guess, yeah, they wouldn't like people to just uh, spread the the germs, maybe. Uh, what do I need exactly to build a new medkit station? Computer chip, fiber mesh, and silver ore. I don't have any of these. Fiber mesh, I know how to make. Computer chip, computer chip I can make one immediately. Fiber mesh, I can get that, and then I just need some silver. So basically, I could make another medical kit fabricator back at home if I just grab some creepvine uh, things. So I could go back to my base, like base 2, because that's probably the best place to start and explore. Let's go back to base 2 with all these resources and uh, try and make something out of that base, maybe improve it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, and use that as the main starting point for our adventures. There we go. Get back to the lifeboat immediately and use that. No, I need two. I need two of these Scrifine samples. It's still fresh for now, but not for long. Let's drop some titanium, grab a little bit more Scrifine things. And go back to the pub immediately. Uh, basic materials. Fiber mesh. Nice. So now I have some fiber mesh. That doesn't age. Uh, I do need some silver, but I do have the gold. I don't think I have any copper right now, but I don't think I need copper, right? No, only silver ore. Okay, so now I'm just going to go swim back to my main base, base number two. Where is it? It's back there. And our next order of business will be to try and build a mobile base. A uh, mobile vehicle base, sorry. Because that's what we need to make sure we can uh, 
craft some lovely vehicles because I'm thinking these these dives I'm making right now are not very optimized. I need to get back up to the surface very often. I'm not very resilient to damage. And basically I have to get back to my base for air very often. So if I could find a way to not have to do all of that, that would probably be a good idea. Here is my little base. So we're going to get in there. Maybe we should try and expand it, honestly, with a second compartment. Can I do that? I can't. I can do it like that. Is this linked to my main base right there or not? Probably not. I can't put them here. That's really weird. Maybe because there's a hatch. Maybe I need to deconstruct the hatch first. And now build a second compartment. No, he doesn't want to add a second compartment. Really strangely. Well, let's remake a hatch then. Because we need to get inside. I don't really understand why I can't build a second part, but apparently I can't. Do I have any silver in here? I do have silver ore, so now we should be able to build a medkit crafting station. Not a radio. Medical kit fabricator. Let's build this. And get a medkit in production. Yay. Well, I don't really understand what's happening here, but I cannot expand that base for some reason. Maybe it doesn't have enough power or... I don't know. Mobile vehicle bay. Ingredients unknown. So see, I, I do have the Seamoth uh, plans, but I, as, as long as I don't have the mobile vehicle bay, I cannot uh, build this. So I need to find the fragments for this. Problem is, it's uh, daytime. It's nighttime. So I don't really want to go out right now. Yeah, this base is starting to be a little bit crowded. Yeah, I know I need some titanium. And exit the base and try to look for more Aurora fragments. So basically, I went in this direction. I didn't go in this one. So I'm going to try and explore through here, see if I can find anything of use. This place is Stalker Central. There's more creep finds. I'm right in the middle of a cluster of fishes. I don't like this. More stalkers again. Jesus. These guys are... Really, really liking this place. Okay. I'm going to explore this way. I didn't last time, so maybe I can find something of use. And probably I should use my rebreather instead of the radiation helmet, because I don't think there's radiation in here. And if I can detect radiation, it probably means that I found something useful, so... Oh, what the... What the is that? That's metal salvage. That's good. That's... What the hell is this thing? I don't want to get close to that thing at all. What? Well, there's plenty of... There's many of them. There, I think it saw me. I think it really saw me. Yes, yes, yes. It's coming towards me, at least. It's swimming towards me. I don't like this. What the hell are these things? Can I scan you? Are you going to attack me? Can I scan you? What? 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 What is it doing? It, did it die? It didn't. It's a bone shark. Can I scan the bone shark? Is it aggressive? Doesn't look very aggressive to me. Hey, it is! It is aggressive! That's thing, yeah, it, it's only barely aggressive if you get close to it, but the problem is it really deals a ton of damage, wow! Okay, that thing is mean! Yeah, my water, my, my health is already extremely low. Uh, this expedition might be a short one. But I'm going in a direction where I haven't been before, so... Maybe I can find good stuff, I don't know, let's see. Looks like a good plane, there's a chest here. Could probably see what's inside. If I could open that, that's just a cargo. There's a piece of laser cutter fragment. I already own that. Well, I should get back up. Get out, get out. Leave my legs alone. Leave my legs alone. Bastard, come on. Get out. Get out. Ow! Yes, they are dangerous. I thought they weren't, but they really were. Ow! I <laughs> I'm already out of health and I might die. Which would suck, because I would have to find this place back again, and I didn't even bring a beacon, so... Let's try not to get eaten again by a reactor fragment. I already got that. Let's try to avoid being eaten by more sand sharks if we could. There's plenty of them around here, so... Let's try to give them a wide berth, okay? What's that? Mobile vehicle bay fragment! Let's hope I don't need 20 of these. Uh, one out of three, that's not bad. Maybe we could keep scanning in this part of the, the sector here to try and find some more. There's another box out there. What does it have? A sea glide fragment. I think I already have the sea glide, but uh, no, I didn't have the sea glide. Okay, 
But if I can find more Sieglite fragments, I could maybe have a, a small vehicle to at least make me go faster. Okay, Stalkers in this area, let's be careful. Mobile vehicle by fragment, yep, didn't grab that before. Two out of three, okay, just one more chest full of these fragments and we'll be good. Let's try to find one last box, okay? If we can find just one last box with a little bit of uh, mobile vehicle bay inside, we should be good. But that's probably the one I already scanned, right? Yeah, there's no fragment in here. Let's save again. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take the coward's approach. No, oh god, oh god, that thing is is coming towards me. Mobile vehicle bay, nice. Now we can get back home and get the frick out of here before we get eaten. This one is open. Sea glide fragment. That's two out of two. And at the very least, I could start trying to build a sea glide. But we're okay in terms of food. We can survive now. We have probably a medical kit waiting for us inside our base. This place is relatively safe, apart from a few sand sharks. And if I could just maybe just expand it, I would be very happy. Could I add a T junction, a T compartment? No, see, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to fix itself to this, and this doesn't work either. So why can't I build this in here? Any med kits? Yes. Let's heal ourselves up. Yeah, 50 health is not great, but it's still better than nothing. So now I've got what it takes to build a mobile vehicle bay. Where is it? It's in uh, tools? In equipment, maybe. Mobile vehicle bay. Deployables? Yes. Titanium ingot lubricant. That, that I can already do. Titanium ingot, I just need a few titanium on me. And lubricant I have, maybe at the other base, but it's just creep vine stuff, so it's really easy to do. There we go. A little save. Let's go grab some creep vines. I think there's some right here, which is great. No, that's not, that's not what I need to do. I need to grab the seed clusters. The creep vine thing is not useful. What I need is the seeds of the creep vine. Uh, there's another chest here. Mobile view. What? There was one right there. Come on, Nick. Open your freaking eyes. You could have grabbed this a long time ago. Creep vine seed clusters. Inventory full. Okay. Let's go back to base, turn that into lubricant, and we'll be good. Basic materials, lubricant. So now I've got everything I need to build the mobile vehicle bay. It's, taking, it's going to take a while. But. Now can I deploy this? Hopla, there we go. It's going to float back up to the surface, apparently. I'm going to climb on the mobile vehicle bay and try to deploy some ships if I could. Vehicles. I can have a sea moth. I need titanium ingot, power cell, glass, lead and lubricant. So I think titanium ingot I can make one. Power cell I do have one. No, I don't have one anymore. I need to make another one. Glass I can make or I can find. And lead I think I have. And there's a radio message as well. Uh, can I make glass? That's two quartz. I need two glass I think. So I'm gonna need to find more quartz. Uh, titanium ingot. I think I've got what it takes. It's just 10 titanium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. There's glass in here as well. Let's grab that. So I might already have everything I need apart from the power cell. The power cell I can make immediately. That's fantastic. Okay, well I'm going to be able to build a seamoth immediately. Listen to the message. Okay, so now I really need a I really need a compass. Problem is I cannot make a compass, I think. Compass, compass, I think it's equipment. Compass, copper wire and wiring kit. I do have copper wire. I think. Or maybe I used it to make something else. Yes, I did. Okay, copper wire and wiring kits. Can I build this? Uh, copper wire, it shouldn't be too hard. Copper wire is just copper ore, and wiring kit is silver ore. Okay, silver ore I don't have anymore, I think. But I could make some copper wire. Let's go first make the seamoth. Use the vehicle bay and create a seamoth. One person sea and space vehicle. It's building it. 
It is building it. My Seamoth is in the water. Oh, yes. Access upgrades. Yes, I could make upgrades. Okay, enter the Seamoth. I have. Oh, nice. It's got power and hull. It might need to be recharged at some point, though. Can I grab stuff? Can it fire anything? I cannot grab fishes. Okay. That's pretty neat. Well, let's go try and find some caves. Because now we are kind of protected. I think we might be protected. Okay, so I cannot grab anything while I'm in the Seamoth. But I can explore and try to find some caves. Probably won't get attacked while I'm in this. I don't see any stalkers trying to attack me, honestly. That's a limestone outcrop. Silver ore. Nice, I just need one more silver. And uh, I'm covered for the... I'm covered for the compass. Uh, that won't be silver, probably. Sandstone outcrop. Oh yeah, that was silver, I think. Two silver, silver and silver. Nice. I wonder if you can recharge the Seamoth or if it's... Uh, when it's empty, it's empty. Like, you need to build another one. That would be very expensive if that was the case, but you never know. Let's go make a compass. Okay. First, make some titanium. And then let's make the compass. Equipment, compass, finally! Should have had this ages ago, but <laughs> yeah, I took my time. Okay, this battery is empty, so let's uh, let's put it inside one of these lockers, because we won't need it. We should probably try and make another battery, honestly, just in case. It's always useful to have a battery. So where do I need to go? Databank, no, it's voice locks. They are... They are, blah, 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 uh, one and a half kilometers, so 1.5 kilometers, yes, 1.5 kilometers southwest of the crash site. So the crash site is Giant Green Alien Cube. So let's get there, and then we need to go 1.5 kilometers southwest of this. Let's go check his last broadcast location first. Like, I mean, they're, they're pretty giving me a direction to go there, so let's let's go take a look. Yeah, we can make a stop at the life pod because it's kind of on the way. We can make a stop at the life pod. Uh, we should have some copper on ourselves or back there, I think, maybe. And with the copper and the thingies, we should be able to do anything that we want. We could also start deconstructing a little bit of that base because honestly, we don't need all of that back there. Could we deconstruct this? Maybe there's copper in one of these things. Yeah, there's copper here. Okay. So now we can build a new battery and that should be enough, maybe. And another one, That's that should be enough for the trip. We're only 1.2 kilometers away from that, so it should be good. And then we can find back the green alien cubes and try and move 1.5 kilometers from that. Wow, okay. Let's go down here, this seems interesting. Let's hope there's nothing too big down there, because yeah, the deeper you go, the bigger things you get, probably. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. Whoops. Well, damage imminence. Let's get a. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, where did I? Where did I come from? Through here, probably. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get crushed under the pressure. This thing cannot go down too far. Yeah, I'm getting crushing. I'm getting crushed. Let's get back up. Okay, there seem to be green alien thingies, but I don't think I can go swim there. And it's it's really down. I cannot go down that deep. I cannot approach these depths. I need uh, something pressurized or something. Okay, well. I guess this refers for nothing. Well, it's also unusually dark. Biodiversity unusually low. That might mean a... Uh, what is that? What is this thing? What are you? What the fuck was that? This really scared me. Was that a... Ah, oh, wow. Was that a thing? <laughs> Oh, I'm so scared, god damn it. Uh, was that a... Yeah, my thing is starting to take in water. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Where is my life pod? Yeah, let's go back to the base. Like, biodiversity low. This this evokes uh, a giant predator that would have eaten everything. And that's not something I want to see. What? What was that? I I didn't hit anything. Did I get hit? I don't know. Shit, the Seamoth is not that reassuring anymore. Well done, game. You destroyed my whole confidence in my little ship immediately. Okay, so let's go first to the crash site, which is green alien giant cube or something. 
We're gonna go first there, and once we're there, we're gonna go 1.6 kilometers southwest. So I'll catch you guys back uh, once we're there, unless I found something really interesting on the way, which I want to show you. Yeah, you bastards, I've come back with a ship now. How you like that? Now I can go explore around your little green cubes and discover all their secrets, you little bastards. Yeah, I'm still not gonna get too close to these guys. Okay, so southwest. That's 1.5 kilometers southwest. So if we find anything of use, we're not gonna stop immediately. We're just gonna drop some beacons. Uh, to make sure that we can find this back again. So yeah, here is something. I really would enjoy if you could build at some point like a giant submarine, like a real submarine that you can have like a mobile base in. Like something really big, like you have lockers in it and you have a bed and you can sleep in it. That would be so cool. I would really love that. Is it 1.5 kilometers southwest of his last recorded location? It might be, you know. Let's turn off the light. Wow, the water is really blue out here. Really super blue. And that... Ecological dead zone. A crater edge. What do you mean? I cannot see anything at all. What the... What is that? That is huge! What the fuck is this? This thing has eaten everything. It's gonna eat me as well. Wow! <laughs> Screw you, you little bastard. Let's go southwest. No, 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 no. I don't like it at all. Oh, shit. They probably never... Oh, shit, 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 shit. That thing is really, really after me now. I'm gonna die. Oh, God, I hate those things. I don't know what that is, but... Let's keep jumping out of the water. <laughs> that might lose them. What the fuck are you? No, it really wants to eat me, honestly. Yeah, let's go. Go, go, get out of here. Go, go. There's many of them. Let's go in reverse. Oh, that thing really nearly killed me. Well, I hope it, it left me alone now. I'm supposed to find something like I'm southwest. I'm 1.5 kilometers, but there is no beach. And there are still some of these things. I should not go out there. This doesn't seem like the right place for me at all. I should get back to the pod, honestly. Let's deep dive. Try to escape them by diving deeper. Those things are really mean. Ow, shit! Come on! Let's make a huge dive out of the water. Try and lose them. Woohoohoohoo! Those things will kill me if they grab me! <laughs> okay, this might just be the place that you're not supposed to go and they're like, oh shit! Wow, that scared me so much. Okay, I'm dead now. My Seamoth is gone and I'm gonna get eaten! Like, no! Ow, this is gonna be the end of me! Ah, oh, it's chasing me! Oh god, I shouldn't have gone there! This is the end of the game for me! That, that was the edge of the world! I should not have gone there. I'm gonna try and swim, but that's not gonna work, right? I'm gonna get eaten immediately. Let's try and swim back to our base, but no, that's not working. Okay, ow, Jesus. Okay, so yes, I loaded my save and I'm back in the water. And yes, I'm entering this weird zone, but that's clearly not the way I'm supposed to go. But at least we have a Seamoth, we made vehicles, we have a mobile vehicle bay, we can rebuild the Seamoth if we collect the right resources. And there's a new radio message that we have to listen to, so basically we're in good shape. So let's go back to base 2, listen to the message, and we'll figure out where to go after that. Because I'm thinking maybe I went towards what they thought were dry land, and in fact it wasn't dry land, it was the, the wreck of the Aurora maybe, I don't know. We're gonna have to assess that. I mean, I could start and build a bigger one, like maybe here, if I build an X compartment and I start adding to it. Does that work better? No, I can't. I can't add anything to these. Yes, I can here. Okay. Well, maybe there's a height uh, limit or something. I don't know. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, that looks better. Tubular, this one I cannot make. This one I cannot make either. But I could improve this in length, right? Yes. Let's do this. Can I do a hatch? No, I need some quartz. 
And I don't have any quartz, I don't think. Because this could be a way bigger base, a more interesting one. I could just carry the resources over. Make a way bigger base from that. Okay, well, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try and improve this secondary base. And maybe we'll deconstruct this one once it's done. I'll empty everything, deconstruct it, and build everything I need to make the other base a bigger one. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you really did like the video, I have a Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!